Good morning. Beautiful Sunday morning, October the 2nd of 2016. It's a beautiful day. And this morning, uh, you know, I was just struck by the peace, the fulfillment, the satisfaction that he gives to us, those who are so blessed and so fortunate to call him our father, our friend, our everything. Amen? I was uh, recalling that a few, a few years back I put on my radio and uh, Miss, uh, McGee came on the radio and he was an old time preacher man and he was just, a, I thought of him as a fiery preacher that was full of passion and full of uh, just so much, so much love and so much desire to get the word out there and you know, he sounded honestly like he was 100 years old at the time. And I really don't know how old he was, but I know he lived a while. But yet his fire never quenched. And I, that, used to just, that used to give me so much, so much uh, inspiration, so much motivation, right? One of the days when uh, he was preaching, he talked about that we each have our own radio station. So welcome to K. Lori. L-O-R-I, to make it easy. So that that goes, what goes on on your daily station? You know, there are 86,400 seconds in a day. What is your radio station spilling out throughout the day? Is it praises? Is it uh, joy? Is it uh, laughter? Is it complaining and whining and just uh, moaning and what is, what is your radio station proclaiming out throughout the day? Yesterday, I went to the uh, dentist's office, and uh, I was, uh, you know, just started a small talk, and then I stopped for a minute, and I heard myself. And all that was coming out of me is pretty much whine, whine, whine. Not so much complaining, but kind of like whine, 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 feel sorry for me, whine, whine, so busy, whine. Oh, no, you know, work, 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 wine, wine, wine. And I thought, oh, my God, I'm sick and tired of hearing myself. This is the radio station that I'm putting out. And, you know, it was like I had an epiphany, like, whoa, who would want to even sit down and listen to this radio station? I, I certainly wouldn't. It's, it's boring. It's defeating. It's, it's sucking away at life. It's depreciating. I, that's not the kind of station that I want. I want one that's that motivates and inspires and gives life and gives hope and gives inspiration. So what happened? And then, uh, you know, I started going back and I thought, you know what? It's all in his word. It's all in his message. It's all in what he, uh, he, he instructs us, right? So um, let me get really quickly here to my, to my notes. I'm starting to use the notes as William has taught me which, by the way, I really got to get better at. But um, if you can turn your Bible to Psalms 31, verse, verses 19 and 20, and it says, Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you. Did you hear that? He has laid out goodness. He has prepared good things for those who, Keyword, who trust in you, who trust in you. He has laid out good things, blessings, favor, honor, health, wealth, riches for those who have put their trust in him. It says also in, uh, in Psalms 31, verse 28, it says, Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful, and he fully repays the proud person. But then he says, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart, all of you who what? Who hope in the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart, you who trust in the Lord. You who believe that he will do good things for you. You who proclaim his goodness throughout the day. You who say, I can't, 
but he can. I don't know my future, but I do know who, who holds my future in his hands. Amen? In Psalms 32, check this out. Psalms 32, verse, starting with verse 8. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these are his words to you. These are not my words. These are not the words that William will teach you. These are not the words that some uh, great preacher or some uh, anointed prophet. These are coming from him, from his heart. This is coming from our Father. He says, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. But he warns us, don't be like the horse or like the mule, which has no understanding and which has to be harnessed with a bit and with a bridle or else they won't come near you. It says, many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Not pain, not defeat, not endless days of worry and work and trouble and despair. No, he says mercy will surround him. Mercy will surround those who he instructs, those whom he teaches, those whom he guides. Amen? Now, if you could, please turn your Bible to Psalms 91. It's all the same thing. You know, the Bible is just, it's like a link. It goes from one link to another link to another link, and it's all, in fact, His Word instructing and teaching and, and just guiding you. But now, once again, these are words from Him. These are words that He is putting out. He says, because... He has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, and I will set him on high. Because he has known my name, he will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This week and on Friday, I went to, and I was caring for my, my two grandkids for Dresden and Berlin. Now, if you know... Berlin, she's a little, a little parrot. She talks, 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 and she's very good at getting her message across. Now Dresden, he doesn't really put out full sentences. He will repeat your word, maybe, or he will ask you something. But um, this is the first time that I've heard him say my name. I mean, Berlin just knows me as Crazy Grandma. So everything is Crazy Grandma. Can I have this, Crazy Grandma? Why is this, crazy grandma? And I love that. I let that always be my name for her. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Dresden goes, Grandma, can I da 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 da? And, and you know, something special when they call your name. And, and I understand why the Lord says that. He has known my name, and because he has known my name, I will instruct him and I will deliver him. I will surround him. I will favor him. These are his words of love for his children. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him and I will set him on high. Because he has known my name, I will, and he will call upon me and I will answer him. He will answer us. Our hearts, our station, let it be a heart in a station that proclaims his goodness throughout the day. Let us, let us put out a station that is filled with love and laughter and peace and harmony. Let's put up a, a, a station where people can dial in and get motivated, dial in and get inspired, dial in and know that there's a God that loves them, dial in and know that everything will be okay because He has said it. Not you, not I, not some preacher, not um, some teacher. No, He has said it. This is Gloria Caleb signing off, but yet my station will continue on throughout the week. 86,400 seconds in a day, 3,600 in an hour, proclaiming his goodness. God bless. Amen. Wow. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, I'm just 
glad we've come together uh, this morning. I was uh, thinking all, 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 the, all morning, just being with the Lord over at the uh, park as I took Caleb out there and let him enjoy himself. And, and as I can see, uh, you know, when I look around me, I, I, you know, like Lori says, 86,000 something, something seconds. I don't know. I, I can't retain all the information of, of the important things in life, but you get my point. You know, that many seconds in my day, that's exactly, um, I, I just see the goodness of God, his gentle hand um, being with us, helping us. Uh, to to become victors, um, I just want to share with you a scripture. It's uh, found in uh, 2 Corinthians 2.14, and it says, Praise unto God, who always, I love how they say, always causes us to win. Through Christ's triumph, He uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. You know, as I was thinking about that, and um, the Lord was just touching my soul uh, all this morning, preparing to give you the scriptures. um, You know, I saw that, uh, you know, what what Lori was saying is is so true. You know, what, what you focus on, what we focus on. You know, during the week, um, I, uh, I, 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 I was working on the slope uh, last week, and I, I, uh, I, I, I twisted my back a bit. You know, just just made it a little sore, but it was a deep, a, a deep pain. Um, it was really, really deep, and I, I, it was so deep I couldn't even find it to massage it out. And, uh, and of course, I just like anybody else, uh, you, you, I love to say in the game of life, sometimes we have to play hurt, uh, cause I wasn't going to stop going to work or even if they said come in overtime, none of that stuff, none of that. And, and when I go to work, I go to work with the idea that God has given me such an opportunity to, to, uh, to, to do something that is clean with my hands to, to make a clean uh, living to, to support my family. And so I give it my all when I'm there because that's their time. It's not my time. It's their time. So I'm going to give it my all. So I was there and I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I was like, I, I mean, literally, I could not even, I could barely even put my shoes on, my socks on. It hurt so bad. I had to make this face and, and, and I had to, you know, you know, the, the face of pain. You guys all know it. You've been there before. And so I was thinking about it and I was thinking, I was talking to the Lord and I, I, I love how God is in, um, if you remember in Deuteronomy, uh, Somewhere around 927, there's a story where Moses points out what the enemies will say and think if God would not help just because they sin or they are um, tempted to sin and they, and they have thoughts and they have, have wrong ideas, you know, at, at one given time. And the Holy Spirit is still instructing during their day and during our day. So now I'm, I'm going live with you uh, today, modern time. It's the same thing. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is good all the time. But uh, yes, Moses did point that out that, you know, and, 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 and it's amazing that, of course, the Lord's answer is, yeah, I'm not going to leave. But the, but, but the wonderful thing is, is that, you know, when I was thinking that, that scripture, I thought, man, you know, Lord, let me not quince or make faces in the presence of, 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 of your precious ones that you have. You have purchased your own self. You, you, you left your throne and came down to the earth that you created and you gave 
your all, and you did not wince in the presence of man so that, that they could see you as a weak God. And, and, the, and, and me also, let me not wince in the presence of, of a person that is seeking the message that, that, that you have put into my, my heart, my soul, to, to provide for them. So, so show them, show them your, your, you know, I want to do this so that you get the praise. We all know the reason why pains come, the real reason is because there's someone behind it. And that someone is, I always tell you guys this, it's a third of the angels that have fallen. They are jealous and they like to get the praise and glory of God. And this is a praise and glory. When you, when you act suffering in the presence of people, and I might just say this for myself because I, I want to be selfish in this, in this sense. When I act like pain in front of people, I feel like I've given someone else praise. So this is the conversation I was having with God at, at work. And I said, Lord, I don't want to give anybody else praise. So, so do me a favor and heal me so that the healing that goes inside, it'll bring a, 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 an expression on my face one of joy, one of peace, one of harmony, one of tranquility, and one of strength, and one of desire to assist people, not frustrated because of the pain, not, not wanting to push people away because of the pain. And, and those things, they come our way, but we can, we can stop and, and talk to God like this so that it can turn around. And I tell you, every time I was talking to the Lord this week, Concerning this, it would turn around in my favor. I, I never winced in front of someone. I never showed, uh, you know, like as if I didn't want to help someone. My heart was filled with joy and it was filled with strength. And so I take you to the New Testament now where Jesus is approached by this, the disciples about a man that was born blind. It's in John 9, 2. And they ask him, they say, this is concerning the way that we have been taught. Well, if you sin, then something bad has happened to you. On the contrary, my friends, there are angels out there that are trying to hit you so that in everywhere, they're either trying to take marriages away, they're trying to take... Um, uh, 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 homes away. They try to take your house away. They try to take your health away. They try to take anything that would praise God. They try to take it away, your health. Your, you, 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 they want you to feel pain so that you will not help people and you will focus on that and thinking that, you know, God is not good or something like that. So they do this to you. So Jesus gets on the scene and he does this on purpose. The disciples ask him, you think that God didn't set this stage up himself? He put it in their heart to ask Jesus this question. He says, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And in John 9, 3, Jesus says, neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. My friends, all week long, I was in pain, and, and it's a pain that's going to go away. It, it's healing today, even. I still have a little bit, but, but I suffered it. I suffered it with joy in my soul, joy in my heart. The works of God were displayed at my job of God, being a good God, a smile, a disposition of joy and full of faith and thanksgiving and grace was given to me and I was giving it to people that, hey, man, and, and I, I hardly ever 
talk about God because that's not the arena for it. But I always, because he always causes me to win, I always act like a winner in front of him. Always putting a censor. Hmm, why is this guy always a winner? Why is this guy always acting like a winner? Why does this guy always have a joy in his heart? Why does this guy always have a, a happy smile on his face? And, 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 and he walks around and man, and he's almost 52 years old and I'm younger than him. And I don't have all this strength and I don't have all this. And, and, I, and if you don't hang in there, don't start at the end. Start where, you're, where you are and start walking like as if God is with you and for you, and he is merciful. I'm going to share with you a scripture, and it says that Psalm 91, 1, whoever dwells, dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Every day, I do what 2 Corinthians 2.14 says. I say praise unto God who always causes us to win through Christ's triumph. He uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere, that he is good. I see him everywhere, everywhere. The Lord said 86,000 some 86,400 seconds a day. And this is what I'm telling you to choose, my friends, is to see yourself that you live in the high places every second of those 84,400 seconds of the day. You live in the high places because you live with a God that loves you, cares for you, enough to pay your debt debt enough to pay your pain debt, enough to pay your sorrow debt, enough to pay every debt that you would have to pay in this life. You don't have to pay those anymore. You don't have to get your mind on them anymore. You can get your mind right into the dwelling place of God all the time. 84, 8,000, 86,000, 400. (laughs) You get what I mean. Whatever those seconds are, you don't have to ever get your mind off of that God will supply whatever it is that you need. You know, it's funny. Um, We share this with you, my friends. We're, we're, We're in the battlefield with you. Trusting, 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 trusting God as much as we tell you to trust in God. We are in the trenches with you doing the exact thing at the exact second, at the exact moment. We're trusting and doing and, 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 and telling ourselves, trust him, trust him, trust him, trust him. He's a good God, my friends. You get to walk with him. He shows himself in the silhouette of the trees. He shows himself in in the blue sky, in the clouds, in in the rain, in the water, in the mountains, in the wind. He shows his goodness. He, He shows by giving us the strength to go to work and do something clean with our hands, to make a clean living, to provide for our, our, our family, a good marriage, a, a good home, a, a, a good uh, salary, so that we could live enjoyably in his presence, a good health. Enjoy God, my friends. And enjoy giving God his richest praise in every single second of the day. Enjoy giving him his praise. You know, don't don't live two lives. Live one life. Like Lori said, the radio station. 
live one channel. Giving God his richest praise is reminding yourself how rich you have it and I have it and Lori have it. So now I just want to give you the benediction. Philippians 4, 8, 9. Finally, believers, keep your heart meditating on whatever is true, like scriptures that God loves us, is for us to the extreme of making the greatest sacrifice to cleanse us through his son. Whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever brings courage and loving kindness, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things, center your mind on them, and implant them in your heart, the things which you have learned and received and heard and believe that God is for you and extremely loves you to the point of paying your death debt. So you could live, and I can, and Lori can, enjoyably relaxed in his presence without fear or worry, practice these things in daily life. And the God who is the source of peace and well-being, you will always feel ever so presently that he is with you and for you. Well, my friends, as we say every week, though Lori and I leave you, we know the Lord never leaves you. Enjoy this recording. <laughs>